EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Washington State's been hitting on all cylinders the last few games. They've ripped off a string of W's, trying to extend that streak. But the key is keeping Big Mo on your side. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Stadium, the setting for this college football showdown. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. From the seven, he's to the 20. And he just got stood up right there. The Cougars have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week, and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you get got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. And he tackles them hard at the 40. So they'll get the first down there on the five-yard completion. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. He's tackled at the 45. There's another pass to the tight end, and he's got it. That brings him second and five. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Gets it to his tight end, but it's not loose. The pass was right on target, so that took a perfectly timed hard hit to knock it free. A strong defense to deny the completion. From their own 45-yard line, it's third down. Pass right, running back's got it. And they make the stop at the 48-yard line. Colbert picks him up about three yards with the catch. Thomas awaiting the return. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. They'll certainly need better production from this offense as the game goes on. Well, they had their opportunities here to make some plays to try to quiet this crowd, but they weren't able to do it. If things keep going this way, this stadium is going to get even louder. The 32. It's second down and about three yards. Ball on the 32 yard line. And down he goes at the 44 yard line. Down grab. And he's tackled at about the 43-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. He's taken down around the 45-yard line. That makes it second and two. You 
know that saying, get your keys out, because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. First and 10, ball on the 28. Play action. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. Watch the run. Watch the run. Watch the run. 51, Mike. Mike 51. Here we go. Line 80. He steps up at about the 15-yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. Here's the true test of a quarterback at any level. Can they make a good throw under pressure when one or two or three guys are coming right at him? I think this young passer has proven that, yes, he can. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. Tackle made at the 12. That'll make it second and seven. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Straight ahead on the give, and there's nowhere to run. I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant, maybe, to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over to the sideline after the series make sure everybody's on the same page and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go touchdown Oregon State gets it out to his receiver in a hurry a good football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone A quick update now. Here's Reese. A good one going on in Manhattan. And for Kansas State, they are now in the driver's seat. And for Denman, that's more than 100 yards through the air. The Wildcats have the lead, 17-14. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. They line up to kick this one away. Gathered in at the six. Tackle made at the 28. The Beavers are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Get to that quickly. And he's taken down at the 36. Game and eight on the play. That makes, that makes it second, it second and two. two. Brought down at the 34-yard line. That was just a case of one lineman dominating another and making the play. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Played one quarter. Oregon State in front, 7 0. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Bass is waiting for the snap. You wonder what kind of impact the special teams play will have on the series that comes after a play like that. This could be big for the defense. A long field didn't bother them the last time out, and that's how they'll set up for this drive. Let's see what they do here. Oregon State is up seven. Rifles it left. That makes 
second, second and ten. ten. From their own 41 yard line, it's second down. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Impressive play by the defense. They're feeling pretty good about themselves right now. That'll make it fourth and 14. Hughes awaits the snap. Java takes it to 28. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And he can't get away from the pressure. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game, he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there. He doesn't seem to be in rhythm, and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure, and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. He fires. Flings it. Tackles at about the 49. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. He makes it out to maybe the 29 yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Oregon State is up by a touchdown. There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down to the 38-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. of pressure decides to slide Williams gets about four yards on the play it's second down six yards to go ball on the 50 strings it out left and he stopped right away he knew it was a run all the way and got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. Plenty of time in the pocket. He passes it. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. Tries to get around the corner. Javed makes it the 15. He's taken down at the 20. Well, really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think 
Allow the offensive coordinator, take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. That's a great tackle at the 42. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Goes to the tight end and knocked away. You can't blame him for not hanging on to that pass. He got hit pretty hard. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on their own 42. him hard at the 36 yard line. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has again that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. Wants to go long and done. Oh boy, almost intercepted. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. What a collision. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Oregon State is up a score. Slings it. He's tackled around the 45-yard line. He is such a good target, really anywhere on the field. But they like to get him the ball in short to medium range situations. From the 45 yard line, it's first down. Let's go! Green Makes the grab and steps out right away. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Look like it jumped early there. Offside. Defense. Oregon State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Well, the quarterback's able to find a soft spot in the defense, and he threw an accurate ball for a solid pickup. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 23. He launches one for the end zone. This one will fall incomplete. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. And what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. Let's it fly. The throw caught. Touchdown. Tacks on the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Let's have a look at some scores from around the country. Several surprises today. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. The Wildcats strike through the air, getting into the end zone for a touchdown. Denman's arm is capable of dominating a game. And so far, he's been doing just that, having thrown for more than 200 yards. The Wildcats are on top. 31-17, middle of the third quarter. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 25. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Hey, hey. 
throws incomplete. There was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. And down he goes at the 35-yard line. Washington State's going to use their first time out of the half here. with room to work and they make the stop around the 18 yard line you can chalk that one up to the hundreds of passes the quarterback has thrown to this receiver in practice these guys know and trust each other and you could see it in the way he threw that pass and he's immediately tackled buyers it out and kirk that was a nice grab there you know it may be simple but whenever you can gain solid yardage you're doing something right so they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends it's up, and it splits the uprights. Washington State to kick. He's to the 20. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. So at the end of the half, the Beavers lead 14-3. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know. Do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Young fields it at the seven. He makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line. They're ready to begin another drive. Throwing left. Tackle made right around the 42 yard line. First and ten after the big pass play. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That brings him second and five. He's got room to run. He's taken down around the 28-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here we go. Bring it. And he's tackled the 19-yard line. He's 
taken down behind the line. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They tackle him there, and he's still going to be short. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. There's a strike complete. He's down. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Taken down at the 11. No game. Third down. Tenth play of the drive. They're knocking on the door. Tackle around the one yard line. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. That's how we do. That's how we do. That brings him second and goal. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. It's third and goal. One yard to the goal line. Touchdown, Oregon State! Of line would just pancake the defense on that one. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a 13 play, 78 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. The score now 21 3. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He makes it out to maybe the 30 yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 30. Quickly to the tailback. Seven yard play. That's a good completion. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. That makes it third and three. And he's tackled right away. That's good for a of seven yards. First down. Throws it away.
from their own 44-yard line. It's second down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He tackles him for a loss. So with one quarter remaining, Oregon State in front, 21-3. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Going deep, lays it out there. They'll bring him down around the 11 yard line. I'm not sure that'll be enough at this point, but it's good to see them moving successfully and giving it their best effort. He throws right away, and it falls incomplete, and the wideout couldn't drag a foot. Yeah, but he showed really nice hands on that play. That makes it second From the 11-yard line, it's second down. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback, and right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's out of bounds at about the five-yard line. That makes it fourth and four. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Got a man. Watch out here. He's tackled at the 15-yard line. From their own 15-yard line. First down. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. yard line. And down he goes at the 20. With him being intended receiver on the play, that'll bring up fourth and five. Hughes awaits the snap. Squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Less than three minutes in the game. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. That's a gain of five on the play. That brings him second and five.
Quick throw, and he's got his man again. Good tackle there in space. Number 23 makes the tackle with the 36 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Ready! Ready, five, five! And they make the stop at the 24 yard line. Gaining 12 on the play. First down. He's hit before it can go anywhere. Oh, a man down, and the trainers on their way out to have a look. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Fires across the middle. What a play, and that is first and goal. That's a gain of nine on the play. That makes it first and goal. being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run it. Looks for his running back incomplete. So the offense stays on the field here. It's fourth and goal from the four. Just over a minute left. go for it given the circumstances they just couldn't pull it off a conversion there could have really helped them but it just wasn't to be their last drive ended in a punch so this quarterback is going to be looking for something better on this drive gets to about the five yard line So it's second and ten. Ball on the five-yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a team of six on the ball. That'll bring up third and four. Man left, man left. Two down, two down. Mike 51, Mike 51. Set hot, right, hot, he fights forward to about the 13. And this one's all but wrapped up. The Beavers get the victory. 21-3. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. Well, this was shaping up to be a really close game, but they did what they had to do, made some big plays, and were able to pull away. Oregon State had a really tough matchup coming in, but they were prepared, motivated, and came away with a really solid win. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.